Okay, you see this fitted? I absolutely adore this fitted. Lids did an amazing job. It's like the total opposite of my admiration for the Black History Month sneakers we saw. And really, mainly the ones I saw, it was the Air Force One pack from Nike. I loved everything else around the drop itself, just not the actual shoes. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and stop. I think someone got it right for Black History Month. I know we're past that and we are now into Women's History Month, but I actually think Lids got it right with who they collaborated with in both the Negro National League Museum and then also the Harlem Globetrotters to really go over the Black Five. So let's go over uh, the gift package they sent to over, okay, for They Gave Us Game campaign. But then also I purchased the Grace jersey. A big thank you to Lids again for the Indianapolis Clowns jersey that you guys see on the far right in the royal blue and red as well as the hat. In the middle you see the Harlem Globetrotters curly Neil jersey number 22 which will pair perfectly with the Air Jordan 1 UNC. And finally the jersey I purchased myself on February 28th, the Homestack Grays cream button down jersey. No matter what, always pay respects to where we came from to appreciate where we're headed. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. And if you recall earlier on the month of February, I said, hey, it seems a little light in terms of the news of Black History Month for sneakers. Were we going to see anything more? And we didn't really see a whole lot. I don't know if brands were just super preoccupied with other things. That's not to say brands are not uh, donating or providing uh, money and funding towards community efforts. I'm sure a lot of them are, and we actually know of some of them. So I definitely applaud that. I just think for us, from a sneakerhead perspective, we're usually like, hey, are we going to see like a whole rollout? Do you remember when Nike basketball, I mean, it just feels like they took such pride in Black History Month and the sneakers we would see. I mean, my favorite, still a pair I really want. Not that I could probably wear them because I would have to settle for like a seven and a half and I don't even know that it's worth buying, but that would be the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month pair. I still really want that. The intricate designs, the detailing on that nine, I love it. And of course I own the LeBron 16 low. I own that equality pair. And I actually really love the 15 that he did too with the gold on the back. That was amazing. And we've seen some other great pairs throughout the years, but this year just wasn't it, at least from the consensus that I saw online. And you guys can comment below, what were your thoughts on the Air Force One pack that dropped? So I think it's interesting that Nike chose the Air Force One. Uh, to me personally, I know that we're still in this land of the dunks. Uh, I understand the dunk is still all the craze, but I actually think they're probably going to move more towards the Air Force One being their next hero model. I also posed that question, I believe, earlier. Yes, in February. I'm sorry. All of my days run together, okay? When you are creating and working, uh, everything just tends to run together. But at least just for me, my personal thoughts, I think that the Air Force One may be their 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 hero moving forward. Now, it's it's been around. It's not brand new. It's been here right, since 1970. So not that it's new. But I think they may start to lean heavier on the Air Force One, maybe versus the Dunk. And so they chose the Air Force One Low, three different styles specifically, I guess, or designs for the Black History Month pack. Now, I will say this, for the campaign as a whole, like the message, the actual slogan they have, the apparel, the way they shot the campaign was beautifully done. I believe that was all directed, shot, as you could see, casted uh, by, you know, literally it was all black and I love that. The shoes still, not so much, they just didn't move me. And everybody, I get it, you don't need to be moved by the sneaker, but for me, it was looking at it as if what's so different uh, about it from just a small change up of a black Air Force One that I would see that Nike would put out any other month of the year. That's how it felt. Again, 
what they accompanied to this campaign or accom what accompanied this campaign with their initiatives within um, black and underserved communities. Love it. More of that, please. Just the shoes were, were not it. And we didn't really see a whole lot from a lot of other brands. I think New Balance might have done like one thing. And that was it. But I do think that someone got it right. I think someone paid uh, just great homage to black history in terms of sport. And you guys know, sneaker sports, that's my thing. I will literally choose almost any day of the week to just relax at home, watch sports, whether it be football, basketball, it could be any number of things, okay, especially baseball when the Yankees are on. And does anyone really know what's happening with baseball? Are we just, we're not... <laughs> We're not going to have a season. Damn sure it's not going to start on time. So for <laughs> LIDS um, and their partnership uh, for Black History Month with not only the um, Negro League National Museum, but then also Harlem Globetrotters, they put out some amazing collections. So they honored the Negro National uh, League baseball teams themselves. But then also, if you know the history of the early days of basketball, they were actually called like you have the, the Black Fives because it would just be really like a team of five or those starters, those five. And so the Harlem Globetrotters are world known. They're worldwide known, but there were some other teams as well. And when it comes to baseball, I think even if you're not really into baseball or the Negro Leagues themselves, you still know at least the grays, right? The Homestep grays, you probably saw this because people would just wear it, right? Kind of how people culturally wear a New York Yankees hat. People would wear grays hats or the apparel for the Homestep grays, but you also have the Indianapolis Clowns and many other teams. So you're able to shop those right now still on Lids. They dropped on February 20 eighth you have pullover jerseys you have button down jerseys you have these shorts which the shorts are amazing so i well first off i guess i need to graciously thank you lids for sending over they gave us game pack and again they gave us game as to respect uh the the way the path that so many uh black athletes early on pay for the ones that you see today within the sport the grays jersey just stood out to me so much and still does and if you guys weren't aware the seventh collection by jerry which also fun fact jerry was seen wearing the brand new spring summer 2022 collection pants they're open him they don't cuff and they're more relaxed they're not tapered so he's playing around with some different silhouettes okay just random sidebar there but seventh collection was inspired was inspired by the homestead grays and if you recall he had a number of different tops that set grays across the front whether it was a henley um a half cut off crew neck and i still want some of those items but the cream grays jersey it was a must so as soon as 10 o'clock hit on february 28th i purchased the jersey so for the jerseys i will show you guys a side by side of myself in them i'm wearing a size medium in both jerseys just as a heads up but you can also check out the size chart to be able to help you out but i'm wearing a medium size reference on five six 127 pounds and i've been on a jersey tear lately i have those two that just came in I have the Las Vegas Aces jersey, still waiting on my custom uh, Riveters jersey, which is a hockey jersey. So your girl is going in on the jerseys and I'm so happy to support these historic leagues and teams. So thank you guys again so much from Lids uh, for They Gave Us Game campaign. So please comment below if you picked up anything from the campaign. If you weren't aware of it, do you intend to pick anything up? Go ahead and comment that below as well. Uh, Black History Month may have passed Past, but as you guys know sneaker culture absolutely we just it's just part of us <laughs> we helped infuse so much of what it is and that will continue 365 24 7 and now we are in women's history month so uh stay tuned i'm sure for some amazing campaigns and focus around women hopefully it's not a debacle like what is going on in the WNBA and the fact that yeah let's find the New York Liberty, because they took chartered flights. Like, let's find professionals for traveling as professional athletes should do. It's beyond ass backwards. Please get it together, WNBA. Get it together. And you know, well, maybe you don't. Well, whatever. I'm going to tell you. So, Derek Jeter stepped down, okay, from the Marlins. Can you come home? 
can you come home to New York and maybe you can figure that out with us? I don't know. Who do I need to write a letter to? Okay, G, can you just, just come home? Okay, just come home. We miss you. We love you always. Come home. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to this hodgepodge of a video. As always, at your age, not your shoe size. Peace.